Greetings, guys. Now, you're not seeing me, are you? But you are hearing me. This particular In the Kitchen with Andy is more directed toward people who are on the Just a Pinch site. I've had a lot of people ask me through emails, personal emails, what's the best way to post a recipe? And a lot of people have come up with it. It's a very easy thing to do, but I thought, why not put together a video? Now, the first thing I want to say, it's not Mac or Windows. I'm on a Mac, but that doesn't matter. The first thing I do is I create a folder for the recipe. Okay, that's me. That's organization. You don't have to do that. You can leave it on your 3 by 5 cards, handwritten 100 years ago. I put it into a folder, and this is the one we're going to do, homemade Italian sausage. When I open this up, I have three things. I have originals. Those are my graphics if I want to use any. These are the ones I've prepped for the JAP site, and here is the text document. Now, this is just me, but I am more relaxed and comfortable putting together the parts of the recipe that I need in Microsoft Word. I've got spell check, I've got grammar check, and then, and I like this, I can then copy and paste it and make the recipe go faster. So this one's going to be awesome, homemade Italian sausage. Let's go into the JAP site. I've got it down here somewhere. There it is. Headlines can make or break what you do. Italian sausage. Hmm. Homemade Italian sausage. Hmm. Okay. Awesome homemade Italian sausage. Pick your words. Melt in your mouth pork roast. One of a kind this. Get me excited about your recipe. Now the personal note. Let's go back into my Microsoft Word document. I'm going to select all this text. Copy it. Now, I'm using the shortcut that is Command-C on a Mac and Control-C in Windows. Come back here. Click in here. Paste it in. And that is Control-V in Windows, Command-V in a Mac. I've already read it. I know it's going to work. You like it? Click Save. Now, you get up to 600 characters in here. Down here, Prep Details. Go ahead and click in here. How many does it serve? Now, if it's not that kind of recipe, leave that blank. How long does it take to prep it? Now, in my case, 24 hours, actually. And 15 minutes. 15 minutes of putting it together, 24 hours in the refrigerator. There is no cooking on this one, so I'm going to leave that alone. Now, the cooking method, therefore, is right here. Now, I've had people say they don't have the one I want. You have to work with what's here and choose the best thing. Now, in my case, it's no cook. Click Save. Now, anytime you want to come back to this, just click. Let's also say that something comes up. It's an emergency, and you need to leave. So you say, oh, i got to work on this later. So you click here. It's going to say it's saved. Click OK. Now, how do you get back to it? Well, you can only do one recipe at a time. So if you go back to Open and click Post, it'll be there, wherever you left off. Now, let's go down to Categories. Now, in Categories, there are things you have to do, like Main Ingredient. Now, the main ingredient on this, I suppose, would be pork. But it, you, know, you might not see exactly what you need. Get the closest thing. Regional Style. Well, it's Italian, so I'm assuming Italian is what I want here. And there we go. Courses and dish. What is it? And sometimes you just can't find the right one. This is dish. And it is, I suppose, pork. So I'm going to use that one. That's the closest one I can find. I don't need anything else over here. You do have some optionals. Is it dairy-free? Is it diabetic? Well, it is dairy-free. It is uh, soy-free. It is definitely not vegetarian, but it is wheat-free. Is it for kids, healthy, heirloom, or quick and easy? And has it been tested and approved? In my family, probably 100 years. All right, so I'm going to leave that one on there. Now, if you don't type one in that's required, it will tell you when you click Save. Made it past that step. Now, the keywords are the next one. And the keywords are important because that's how people search for you. So it would be pork, Italian, ground pork, Homemade. Put as many words in here as you want. When you click Add, it'll put them right down here for you. Now, if we go into here 
and click ingredients. Incidentally, separate them by commas. This is where the fun starts because you have to start typing in your ingredients. So if I come over here and click, I can go back to my recipe. Now I'm going to do something. I work on multiple monitors. I'm going to move this bad boy over here. You can't see it anymore. It's on my other monitor. So I can read this stuff and begin typing it in. Over here again, you can eliminate an ingredient if you don't need that many by clicking here. You can add an ingredient by clicking here. You can add a heading by clicking here. Now I want my heading at the top, so you click here and you can move it anywhere you want it to be. And that's also true of the ingredients. Now headings are always in cap, and I'm going to call this dry ingredients. Now I'm only going to do one or two of these and then I'll go ahead and blank and come back to it through the magic of a computer. I'll speed it up. But if I go to this one and say, okay, my first ingredient is two teaspoons of dried parsley. So I come in and say two. The best way to do this is just press the tab key if that's the number you want. Now here's the thing. You can come in here and click and find teaspoons. But you don't have to do it that way. Let's go ahead and come back out of here. Come over to that one. I'll tab into it again. Watch what happens when I start typing in like pinch. It finds it for me. I typed in a P and an I and it found pinch. If I come back out, tab into it and do teaspoon, I start with a T, E, and there it is. So it helps you out. Press the tab key again. Now once you've typed it in, it's helping you again. Do any of these match what you want? Now I said up here, these are dry ingredients. So I could type in the word dried again if I want to, but I'm not going to. I'm just going to press the tab key and go down to the next field. Two teaspoons of sea salt. So two teaspoons sea salt. Now to go down to the next, press the tab key. Now I will need many more ingredients than what I have here. So I will be adding them as I go along just like this. So I'm going to speed things up here so you don't watch me for the next 15 minutes typing in ingredients. Now I want one more heading. And this will be additional ingredients. I need two more underneath that, so I'm clicking that button twice. And I need two pounds of fresh ground pork. And two tablespoons of red wine vinegar. That's it. Now again, we can eliminate them, we can add them, we can add headings, we can move them around if we want to. Next step, save. Now I made a mistake, and I misspelled a word, I didn't catch it, rosemary. So if I get back in here again, and it's right there, so changing things is easy, okay? It's easy to change things. All right, let's come out of here again. Click Save. I hate it when that happens. Down here, don't click this button yet, are the directions. Now, I already have the directions copy-paste. So let me bring this back over again. Okay, and my directions are right down there. Not very many. So I'm going to select this one right here and copy it using the shortcut. Let's come back in here and go into Edit for Directions. Just simply paste it in. Can't get any easier than that. Let's go ahead and go back in here. This one. Copy. Paste it in here, just like that. Next one. Copy. Come down here. Paste it. Now I need a couple of more. So let me go ahead and add a few more steps here. Okay, let's see if that's enough. Come back to this one. Go back into Word. I like to 
add things to the recipes that might help out in terms of tips and techniques. If you have a story of growing up with this, why not put that in? I love reading things like that about recipes. Let me copy this, paste it in, and then we come back again, and we got this one right here. Copy, bring that over here, and I always end mine with a keep the faith and keep cooking. Okay, save it. Now it's going to look like this. Now if you have some images, and I do, we can start adding them. Click Add Photo right here. This is going to be this photo. Now choose File. Now mine are in Homemade Italian Sausage. In this one right here. And I've got a couple of images. This one's of a pizza. I'm thinking Italian sausage, Italian pizza. Why not? Click Choose. Now, when you upload the image, it might take a second, but when you upload the image, it's going to give you the opportunity, if you want to, to edit the image. Now, if you click here, you can crop it, do whatever you want. I don't want to do that. I do that when I work on the images originally. I'm going to close out of here and just say, looks good. Now you can add a caption if you want to. I'm not going to. But it's here. It isn't here, is it? Now here's the trick. Come back and say add photo. And just click on it right here. And there you go. Now it doesn't look good yet, but it will. If we come down here, we can add some other ones. If you happen to have them. I've got one for ground pork. Just like that. Again, you can edit it if you want to. I like it. Now I have icons for tips and notes that I made. So I'm going to add those two real quick. That's a tip. And this one's a note. And then the last one, I usually use an image like, say, for example, this one, The Wandering Chef. That's me. Now, if you want to at this time, you can kind of stop, check it out. And I, I totally recommend here reading over this thing and making sure that everything is the way it's supposed to be. So you like it? Well, click right here. Cross your fingers. Post my recipe. And there you go. You have just posted your own recipe. If we come back now and go into post a recipe, it's brand new. But if I go out to my site, there it is. I'm getting hungry already. Easy to do, posting recipes. I think putting personal stuff in is really nice. And don't forget, give me a title that will knock my socks off. This is Andy Anderson saying, keep the faith and keep cooking. And keep posting, too.